extra time. Mishti Kotha, Bengal's newest test of sweets. 19 wickets taken by pace bowlers uh, and innings of 130 odd got somehow overshadowed. Now, you started out by saying that the pink ball could pose a few problems in the area outside the office and stuff. We didn't see any of that when you were batting. Could you talk us through what was your experience of playing that innings with the pink ball? Uh, yeah, it was... Um, uh, I think the afternoon session was... Uh, relatively easier so actually um, you know we I, I spoke to Sachin Paji on the evening of the first day and he made a very interesting point as well that probably with the pink ball you'll have to treat the second session like the morning session uh, when it's getting darker and the ball starts to swing and seam and everything so first session you invariably play like you play from lunch to tea in a normal timing test match and then the second session would be like a morning session and then the last session is like that evening session so your planning changes you know your declaration strategy timing everything changes as a batsman your setup changes so even if you're set and you're batting well as soon as it gets dark and the lights are on you know you can be in trouble uh, very quickly so Luckily, I went in when the lights were on, so I didn't have to go through that transition, but I think um, that will be another challenge in future as well. Um, but yeah, under lights, it was a different experience. Firstly, when I walked out, it felt like you know an IPL game atmosphere, so you feel like smashing the first ball, but you have to remind yourself that you, know, you have to play compact. Um, also, because the ball was coming on faster from the pitch. Um, so yeah, a few things, it, it seemed a lot more under lights. Um, swung in the in the first hour of the second session, but seemed throughout the evening uh, till the end of day's play. So it felt good to be in that situation where there's something new, something to challenge you. And then as a batsman, you 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 know enjoy situations where you're challenged and you have to get into a, a test match zone and really you know grind a good spell of bowling out or a good challenging session out. So yeah, I think I. I enjoyed um, that challenge to, to play under lights in a different experience. Can you throw some light on how you have gone about identifying your test, uh, test fast bowlers and how you have explained to them that they are going to play as important a role or maybe bigger than the spinners that traditionally played at home conditions? Um, <clears throat> see, firstly, uh, these guys were already there when you know I, I became captain. They were already, Shami was in the system, Ishant's uh, been playing for a long time, four or five years before I became captain. Ishant was playing Test cricket. Bhuvi was there in the system. Um, Umesh was already, you know, 2012 he came into the scene, so he was there. Um, Bhumra is a late addition, but um, you know, all these other guys were already there, and everything uh, happens in time. They gain more experience um, now. They are bowling well together, which took a lot of time to figure out you know their their own fitness routines and everything now they take ownership of their own preparation their own fitness and communication is very clear if someone's going through a workload problem we don't make them feel like um, you know it's up to you whether you want to take a rest or not we take that call for them we want you fresh for test cricket don't worry about anything else you go you train you come back you bowl like this you know get 20 wickets and that's the only thing that's most important for them and if they are fit enough, if the workload's there, you know, Ashami is selected in short format again now. So, Bhuvi is always going to be available to play test cricket. So, it all depends on how we manage them. And that, that I think, has been a good communication between management and the bowlers as well. And they feel very secure also that, you know, even if they don't play, we have enough backup bowlers to still come in and, and do the job for us. I think that bench strength is also helping us a lot. Virat, um, 360 points uh, in the World Test Championship of the three series. Given the gap between the top three four teams and the rest, do you think the World Test Championship from its next cycle onwards should have two divisions? Um, I I think a more balanced um, format would be one series home, one away. Because, look, I, as I said, we are playing very good cricket, but we played only two tests away um, in the Test Championship. And you're talking about an Ashes that happened, which we saw the level of cricket and the intensity at which those series were played. Um, Pakistan's playing in Australia, you know, first time in the Test Championship. So it's very difficult to judge a team. 
you can you can praise our team on our performance yes but to say that we are dominating like no other team is a very subjective thing to think of because uh, yeah if we have played uh, three series so far maybe if four series were two home two away and we had 300 points then you can say you know yes we're playing really well but uh, we are definitely playing good cricket but uh, i don't think um, there should be any kind of um, tags attached to any team in the test championship anything even if we make the finals there's only one game so whoever plays well win the championship so it doesn't matter how many points you have at the end of the day uh, you have to play good cricket to win but yeah a good format would be one home one away and then you know you keep that balance and keep moving forward the three days saw a lot of good turnout here so do you think it was down to just the fact that it was a day night test or would you also attribute it to the aggressive marketing that has gone around this test and do you think that can be carried forward into the red ball game in india to improve turnout there I think it's very, very crucial um, to market test cricket like we do T20 or one day cricket uh, because uh, it's, uh, it's not only the job of the players playing, it, it spreads out to the management, then to the cricket board and you know to the uh, home broadcaster as well, how you portray a particular product to the uh, people as well because if you create excitement only around, around T20, and not so much around test cricket, then in the psyche of the fan, there's already a, a certain template that's established. So I think if, if, if there's enough buzz created around test cricket, then yeah, there, there will be um, a lot more keenness to come to the stadiums. I'm a, big, I'm a big fan of having more interactive areas for people during the games, like you have in venues when you play abroad. You know, there's something or the other happening, maybe a, a play area for kids or, you know, these small things will really, really help. Uh, maybe school children could interact with Team India players during lunch, be on the field, play with them like we see in other countries as well. So I think all these things will really bring that strength into Test cricket and people would want to come and, and ex have an experience of a Test match. It should be an event where you come and experience cricket, not just sit there and watch in you know uh, hot conditions. So I think there has to be more for the fan. I totally agree with that and it has to be marketed that way. Hey, you're not proud. You're, the team has been winning convincingly last few months. We see no let up in the city. There is no deep in hunger. Is it something that you consciously cultivate or does it come naturally? Uh, no deep in hunger. I think it's, it's in everyone. Um, if you don't have hunger, you can't reach this level. Um, the challenge is when you perform at this level, can you keep the hunger going? Um, so I think my job or even Ravi Bhai and the rest of the management's job has been to remind the players constantly, you know, why sometimes we forget in a difficult situation, especially as bowlers, when it gets hot and the wicket's not offering much, you know, you don't really feel like putting too much effort, but our job is just to put in small reminders as to why we started playing this game. It wasn't to, you know, sort of let loose when the pressure is high or the situation is not in your favour. And I think that shift of mindset has helped our bowlers pick up wickets on pitches that feel, that feel dead uh, to other teams. So, And not just in India, even in Australia, I think that Sydney test that we bowled in, our fast bowlers were pretty effective and lethal there as well. So, um, you know, as soon as you get that reminder of why we started playing and that passion of playing for your country, it's, it's a privilege. I mean, you know, guys realize that now, that there's so many players who want to be here and these are the lot that are getting that opportunity. And as soon as you go into that zone, then you put in everything that you have, and then you see after the test how tired you are, not during the test. Uh, Fourth successive team uh, which is a world record, uh, seven successive test victory. So, do you think this Indian team is uh, now creating their own league of domination, like the West Indies or 70s or the early 2000 Australians? Um, look, I, I, I can only say we are at the top of our game. It's you can't you can't judge a team's dominance with seven games. You're talking about a West Indies side which did it for 15 years. So, um, you know, when, when we all, all are close to retiring, maybe then you ask me this question. <laughs> how, the, how the decade has gone of playing together, but not seven games. So seven years, yes, but not seven games. I think there's, a, there's still a bit of time to go for that. But we're quite excited about how we are playing and what the challenges are, uh, you know, going forward. We'll be playing in New Zealand now. So now the frame of mind is to get to the next series in Test Cricket and not like we finished playing at home, let's see what happens abroad. We are waiting to play Test Cricket. So I think that mindset has changed and now we know if we play well, we can win anywhere in the world. And that's a very exciting and a very nice feeling to have within the change room.
प्लेयर्स का एज आई सेड की एक टाइम एक लिमिट तक रोल रहता है आपका क्रिकेट बोर्ड कैसे टेस्ट प्लेयर्स को हैंडल अब अगर आप साउथ अफ्रीका सीरीज़ की बात करें तो उनके अपने इश्यूज़ चलते आ रहे हैं काफ़ी सालों से आई डोंट नो बांग्लादेश क्रिकेट बोर्ड में क्या डिस्कशंस है अराउंड टेस्ट क्रिकेट कितना उसको प्रमोट किया जाता है कितना उसको इम्पोर्टेंस दिया जाता है आई थिंक इवेंचुअली जो आपका फाइनेंशियल स्ट्रक्चर है दैट स्ट्रेंथ जो टेस्ट क्रिकेट की है वो वहीं से आनी चाहिए क्योंकि आप अगर टेस्ट क्रिकेटर्स को अच्छे फाइनेंशियल लेवल पे नहीं रखेंगे तो एक टाइम के बाद उनका मोटिवेशन नीचे जाता रहता है क्योंकि कोई प्लेयर जो 20 ओवर का मैच खेल रहा है और चार ओवर डाल रहा है वो आपसे 10 टाइम्स ज़्यादा अनी मनी अर्न कर रहा है तो उसमें इवेंचुअली आपका लाइवलीहुड है ये आपको लॉजिक ही नहीं दिखेगा पाँच छः साल बाद आप बोलेंगे कि मैं दूसरा अपना प्रोफेशन ही चेंज करना मेरे को अब टी प्लेयर बनना है तो आई आई थिंक वो जो एक फैक्टर है वो सिर्फ आपका सेंट्रल कॉन्ट्रैक्ट से ही ठीक हो सकता है और प्रेफरेंस आप देखिए ऑस्ट्रेलिया इंग्लैंड न्यूजीलैंड सालों से क्यों स्ट्रॉन्ग है आ, क्योंकि उनका कॉन्ट्रैक्ट स्ट्रक्चर टेस्ट क्रिकेट से शुरू होता है उसके बाद सब चीज़ें नीचे से शुरू होती हैं तो मेरे पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू से हमने भी वही चेंजेस किए हैं यहाँ पर तो अब टेस्ट क्रिकेटर्स को फील होता है नहीं अगर हम लंबे समय तक खेलेंगे कमिटेड रहेंगे तो हमारा भी एक सिक्योर फ्यूचर बनता जाएगा टेस्ट क्रिकेट खेलने के साथ साथ आपकी मोटिवेशन और पैशन भी होना चाहिए और साथ में लॉजिक भी होना चाहिए अगर आप सिर्फ बोलेंगे पैशन से खेलिए और फाइनेंशियली भूल जाइए तो एज अ प्रोफेशनल क्रिकेटर आप ये छोड़ के कहीं और आपको नहीं मिलेगा जॉब क्योंकि आपको यही करना आता है तो आई थिंक वो एक बड़ा इंडिविजुअल एक फिगर आउट करने की चीज़ है जो हम लोग कर पाए लकीली लास्ट दो तीन साल में और उसके रिजल्ट हमें अब दिख रहे हैं Uh, not probably. This is the last home test in the next uh, 15 months for India. Uh, next year, obviously, the uh, World T20. Uh, how do you reflect on the fact you spoke about boards and management taking this forward? So there have been gains in the home season from an audience perspective, from generating interest from test cricket perspective. And then you go through a three-month period where there's no test match at home. Uh, as captain, how do you reflect on, on that? Well, again, it's it's. it has to be planned in a way as i said it has to be marketed in a certain manner whenever test cricket comes back home and um, there has to be enough anticipation and i hope you know these small changes that i s- spoke of they are only kept uh, specifically for test cricket because in one day and t20 you don't really need more interaction for the crowd because they are already you know looking forward to slam bang cricket and there's so much happening on the field but when there's a session when there's not much happening what do they do between breaks you know there also has to be more interaction for the fans that's what i think and um, i'm sure if if those things are added then it's an added bonus to boost up test cricket and the pink ball test is a beginning i'm sure these will be planned more often and then you know that buzz will be created again in different parts of uh, the country as well um so yeah these are few things that i think can help um and i'm sure uh, you know dada has been very uh, open and welcoming uh, of all uh, uh, view points that i discussed with him and to understand you know what point of view we have as a team and his vision is also in sync so he's he's also doing things for betterment of test cricket firstly um and in return indian cricket will be stronger so i think we are walking in the in the right direction and we will i think under him we will see a lot more positive changes which will be uh, cricket specific and priority will be given to test cricket mirat bhai ho aapko ek darshak log bahut khush hai aapke baare mein day and night match yahan pe ye choti si ladki pinky uska naam usne pucha mujhe ki team game se kyon khel rahe hain मैं बोला भाई आपके पास मुझे मालूम है विराट जी से कुछ नहीं है तो उनका कहना था कि दिन में आप लाल बॉल से खेलिए और रात को सफ़ेद से खेलिए उसको बोलती है रात मुझे गेंद दिखती नहीं है पिंक तो मैं बोला भाई ये एक सजेशन है कि व्हाई नॉट वी कैन प्ले मॉर्निंग विद ए रेड बॉल एंड नाइट विद ए वाइट बॉल सर वाइट बॉल वाइट कपड़ों में दिखेगा नहीं <laughs> मतलब दिन दिन में पिंक बॉल नहीं दिखेगा रात में वाइट बॉल नहीं दिखेगा तो फिर तो एक दिन का टेस्ट मैच हो जाएगा तीन दिन की जगह हम लोग भी पचास साठ में आउट हो जाएंगे 
hit in the bullet, we played with the ping ball. There, are, there will be calls to ask about whether we're going to have any more further experiments like these. Pink pain after beating uh, Pakistan has already said that we want India to play pink ball test during their visit. It's a year away still. We would like, and we are, uh, we want to know what Virat Kohli's view would be on that. How would you treat all these demands now from here on? Yeah, as I said, I mean, if, if um, yeah, there, there has to be uh, planning um, for, a, for a pink ball game. Although, see, we are playing in home conditions. But if you ask Bangladesh, they would also have liked a practice game before this game. You know, just because we know our conditions and our bowlers are bowling so well. So you don't really feel the, the, the challenge or, um, you know, the, the uh, things that are different about pink ball cricket. Maybe when we play away from home, um, we will figure out, you know, what could be even more difficult uh, playing with the pink ball. But I think a, a, a good practice game before that and enough time to prepare, we are open to doing anything. It's, it's, you can't just play it on, uh, as, uh, on a short notice, as I mentioned last time. If we get enough time to prepare, we are willing to do anything that, that, that is required to you know, take up test cricket in any manner. So, um, yeah, we'll be quite open to it, I guess. Uh, India played good cricket as usual. But uh, if you come to the point of view, Bangladesh didn't play that well, uh, uh, pretty bad actually. But in your point of view, how Bangladesh played in this series and especially in being <clears throat> I um, As I said, I mean, see, they are, firstly, you don't have your two of the most experienced players. Shakib's not here, Tamim's not here. And then, you know, Mushfikur is the only one. Um, Mehmudullah is there, but only two players you can't, you know, push a team forward on two players. The rest are young, so they will gain more experience. As I said, if they play more test cricket, they will get more experience. If you play two test matches and then you play after a year and a half, then you won't really understand, you know, how to figure out situations or play under pressure. So, look, the skill is obviously there. I mean, if, if people are playing international cricket because they're good enough to play. But I think it's very important to get those match situations regularly for them to understand how to get better at it. And as I mentioned, you know, the board and the players have to figure out what test cricket means to them. And that's the only way you can go forward in test cricket. Hit the subscribe option and the bell icon to get all the exclusive sports videos on Extra Time.